Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from SethMarkwood.com. Together, the three of us, that's you and us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back once again, and welcome to Tobacco Advent Day 11. Morning, boy. Good morning. How are and, you? And good morning to the dog next door. Yeah, we'll be hearing her for a few days, probably. <laughs> probably so, probably so. So, I opened today's box like an idiot and <laughs> and so you know normally he people uh, people that are not idiots open boxes from the top or a side idiots flip the box over and open it from the bottom and when the viewer is kind enough to send the tobacco in glass jars they put a lot of packing in there. Also known as confetti. All over. <laughs> I thought, when I opened this, I thought we had just been goofed on. That, that someone was just messing with us to make a mess. But no. Um, Scott sent this letter. Scott, not me. No. Different Scott. It says, Scott and Seth, enclosed are two jars of tobacco for your tobacco advent. Komoy's cask, 11, which is appropriate on day 11. Uh, a Balkan style blend, my everyday go to smoke, and Casey Jones Hero Blend, a vanilla aromatic, very similar to Lean 1Q in my opinion, but uh, opinions do vary. I hope you like them. Regards, Scott. Scott drew this awesome. Pike! Alright, so today uh, we're smoking number 11, cask 11, and maybe we'll get around to this one if we need it. Maybe not, but thank you for sending us to tobaccos we do appreciate that we will get around to smoking oh yeah it, it may not be, be in with tobacco, tobacco advent, advent yeah if not it'll be in a mark woodman's breakfast club episode uh thank you yeah so cask 11 is uh is definitely a latakia um it's uh smoky they they, yeah. cure, they cure it with a, a fire in part with a fire so you get a smoky Yes, it's right, it's, out of the, right out of the container. Just opening it up, it, it smells already smoking. Like, did Scott already smoke that for us? Oh <laughs> no, it's like <laughs> That would be funny to do as well. Send somebody some ashes. <laughs> Send somebody, yeah. Here's your tobacco. <laughs> We're going to smoke. Yeah, just mix it with the confetti and... You know, when I started making the... Uh, um, Aristocob Miracle Mud, the pipe mud, originally when it contained uh, cigar ash, I was having a hard time getting enough cigar ash. I couldn't smoke enough. I was taking any of the old cigars I had in a dried out humidor and, and running them through a charcoal starter to get ash, mm -hmm. just burning them up. And uh, finally, one of, one of our viewers uh, asked me for, for my address and sent me a big Ziploc baggie full of ash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No longer contains cigar ash, thanks FDA. Question of the day: If you could start a charity or nonprofit, what would it be? Well, you know what? We could uh, we could supply people with pipe tobacco ash. <laughs> yeah. We, there's certainly no profit in that. No. <laughs> no. No, but does, would that qualify as charity? Yeah, some would say. <laughs> mm. There's a part of me that would love to do it for profit, um, but uh, I, I could also see doing it uh, non profit. Um, I really, part of what I get to do in my day to day job is work closely with our marketing department, and um, in that process, have spent a lot of time. Uh, working on communication, working on making flyers, making um, just learning how to to market a business. And and I find myself drawn to helping people with that in their own business. And so anytime somebody tells me they're working on a business endeavor or even a charity endeavor, just this week somebody told me that they they were starting a, a new monthly meeting to talk about um, apologetics. Um, and and so you know immediately I, I start asking questions about well how how are you drawing people in do you you know where can you gather between meetings you have a Facebook group 
are you emailing them? He said, well, yeah, I sent out, sent out an email afterwards thanking people for coming. And then somebody sent me a question. I said, great, did you send that question out to everybody or post it on Facebook anonymously, but answer it, you know, provide your answer. Because if one person has that question, other people have it. Mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. I mean, I find myself giving that unsolicited advice often. And um, I, think, I think that that's, I think I could help people um, grow a business and, and, and or be successful in a business where they are. Um, and, and I see it, thinking back to when I was working in a high school, I see that there's opportunity for helping um, people who maybe are not offered that many opportunities um, to, to find a, a path uh, towards, towards making an opportunity. You know, it's funny you would say that because that's super, super close to what I had thought, which would be to help people get businesses launched, uh, uh, more cottage business than anything else, because I think that there's so many opportunities for people. The uh, Right now, with YouTube, with Pinterest, with Facebook, with Etsy, with eBay, with Craigslist, we have so many free and inexpensive ways of connecting with other people in a marketplace. Mm -hmm. And it's not at all like it was in the past where you had to have a, a retail space, huge commitment up front, you got to buy signage, you got to hire staff and all that to actually be in business and get a business started. And I, I, I've met people recently, and, and these are young folks that are not working, they're living at home, maybe dabbling in some education but maybe not and I don't I don't get where they they're seeing a block that's like the man is holding them back no there's no man paying any attention to you yeah. you know just get get going get it started get it done the, uh, the barrier to entry is it's so, so low. low it's so low um, I in typically I, I've turned a lot of tools I will buy the tools on Craigslist. I will sell the tool, tools on eBay. I don't buy them on eBay. I don't sell on Craigslist. Right? Craigslist, uh, for the most part, I think people kind of like walking into a flea market. Their mind is in that bargain mode. Right. I'm looking to save money, get something cheap. Where on eBay, they're fighting each other to be the person who pays the most money. Right. Let me in on that. Yeah. Right. More collectors <clears throat> and pe people that are looking. Yeah. And if I'm, let's say I'm introverted, let's say I, I don't have the gift of, of gab or something like that, I can buy these things and sell these things online, Facebook Marketplace, I think that's free, I don't know, maybe it's not, maybe it's cheap. Um, Craigslist, if you want to get into selling face-to-face, -face, that, that would be where you would be, and again, people buying there are looking for bargains. But eBay is so easy to use. You can go on completed listings for listings of products like yours, find the one that sold for the most money, and go and get inspiration from what they shared. How many pictures did they post? Right. What did they say about it? Don't copy it. Um, but I, I think helping folks like that in a nonprofit or even for profit business would yeah. be fantastic. Very rewarding. One more thing I go back to where we were making Christmas toys out of wood and giving them toys for tots and finding out that uh, the Marines didn't pick up the toys until January meaning the things that we were working so hard and trying to get done by Christmas time wouldn't be given out till next year then we found out that any handmade toys were thrown away it's like uh, we walked past the toys for tots bin there was this huge brand new labels on it huge stuffed teddy bear they're going to throw that away because it's not in the package. Mm. They can't risk that somebody's been drooling on it or whatever. Right. So we we sought out and found St. Vincent de Paul. And that was an organization that um, they put the items into a thrift store. They're happy to have them. And they're hiring local people to help mm -hmm. with the whole process. Okay, And then a lot of people that are seeking out help financially or help with their family or whatever, when they go to various providers like churches and others, they'll give those people in need 
vouchers, gift coupons, maybe even cards now that they can then go and shop for their family for mm -hmm. Christmas. And then that way, they have some dignity. They were the ones that bought that, that toy for their child, right? Not someone came and gave it to their kid right. for Christmas. Um, they can make the decision that's best for their family. You know, it maybe that the toy doesn't make sense right now, but they do need a coat, right? Mm -hmm. So I love yeah. connecting with that organization. They're all over the United States. I'm not sure if they're all over the world. But, but working with an organization like that to help get plugged into people that have a, a touch of entrepreneurism mm -hmm. and who could use some help would be very rewarding. Cool. So that's my answer. What's your answer? By the way, we have actually had somebody do a VR by the time that this video gets shown, which is a couple days from now. Maybe we've had more than one VR, mm -hmm. but um, I, I almost announced that we were having a giveaway, a drawing at the end of this um, for above from the people who do a video response. Post a video response. You were complaining about wanting content for your channel. There you go. Every single day, you can even start with day one if you want to go ahead and do a VR for day one. Post some videos, put you in a drawing, you'll win some. Hey, like that. What do you think of the, uh, the t tobacco? I want to uh, to post some videos and get a contest. Can these count? Nope. What? Oh, never no. mind then. Uh, I like the tobacco. I like the tobacco. It's smoky. It's it's, it's yeah. It's it's kind of peppery. Um, I really I really dig it. I know that it's not your cup of tea. No, I'm, let me let me say. Hey, your cold is much better today. It's much better, thank you. Yeah. Um, it it is to me. It's preferable to Perique. Mm. Um, I, although I I've, I've always had this issue with tobacco that smelled smoky, or pipes that themselves were very very smoky without tobacco. To me, that was a sign that you need to clean your pipe out. Mm. Right. Um, but slowly but surely, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm yet a convert, but at least I'm not complaining so much about Latakias. Oh, yeah. I mean, over the years, if you go back and watch the first tobacco advent, it was... Oh, it, it, it's a Latakia. Oh. It, it, it was... Uh, yeah, it, it seemed like torture every time. Well, we've smoked a few tobaccos since just, then. Just, uh, just uh, one or two. <laughs> yeah, broaden our horizons for sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us uh, again comment VR. We'll see you again tomorrow. See ya.